what's up uh, my good people welcome to my channel this is karen thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos and uh if you are new here kindly consider subscribing to the channel and uh give the video a like before because uh so that it can be recommended to more people so guys uh today i'm going to talk about uh the rastafari culture and their beliefs uh the way they live and all that you know so i did some research and uh i was like why can't i uh, share with my people what i learned about these people because i did watch a few videos actually there aren't a lot of videos about the rasters in this uh youtube street they are not a lot so i had to go to google and do some research uh, through google so guys uh uh if there is uh this uh, thing that uh, is shocking me it's uh the rastafari culture it's something actually amazing and uh they have a lot of unique stuff they are so different they are you know they are so strong in their in their beliefs and uh, their spiritual thing so uh these rastas they are mainly located in jamaica that is where they originate from and uh the rastafari culture was something that was uh started in the year uh in the 1930s that is uh when it was actually started and uh these people this special group of the rastas it's actually um uh, they call their god or they refer to god as ja that is how they refer to god as ja and what i always knew about rasta is that i i thought all jamaicans or all people that uh, that have dreadlocks are actually jamaicans but i just learned that i was just so shallow and i didn't a uh, head more research on that because i'm so shocked that even without dreadlocks they are still rastas even those people without dreadlocks they are still rasta men or rasta women and we have both rasta men and rasta women not uh, not actually just the rasta man because uh, my thought was that uh, rastas are only men but it's basically a group of men and women that have this uh, special spiritual belief and they have their traditions like their cultures what they believe in their strong beliefs they have something that they 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 that bounds them that is so strong and uh, in my country in kenya actually most of the rasta rasta people what i know about them is that uh, they they are not these uh, people that they are so good or they are good to people they are believed to be in a group of uh, gangs or uh, they are believed to be working uh, they are not actually doing good things that is what we know about these people most of them especially these people that have dreadlocks because i knew that they all have dreadlocks but i'm shocked that most of them they don't even have dreadlocks and uh from my my uh, research these uh rastas from jamaica the, most of them they they believe that uh haile selassie is their messiah that is what they believe most of them not all of them actually most of them believe that Ahile Selassie is their messiah. So this is basically a spiritual thing because the way Christians believe in Jesus Christ uh, and Muslims in Allah, Indians in I don't know what, that is what they believe in. That is what they believe in. But when you follow up, uh, when you follow on their, most of their things, they are actually quoted from the Bible, but it's not this uh, one Bible the christian bible but most of the stories 
they are basically in the Christian version Bible. That is that is it. So uh, basically what I learned more is uh, on the food, the food that these people consume. Uh, they don't just eat anything the way we eat everything, you know, the way we eat uh, meat, any vegetables, any uh, food that comes our way. So these people mostly, their food is organic, 100% organic. And uh, they don't eat like anything from below the ground. They don't. They eat foods that are growing uh, on top. You know, they don't eat the lower parts of the of the of the of the plants. That is it. They eat. They use the leaves, just like um, the vegetables. That is what they use mostly. They use vegetables. And organic vegetables, not just vegetables, organic ones. And uh, I also learned that uh, this one is actually the most shocking thing that I learned is that uh, they don't they don't take water. They don't just take any water. They take coconut water. That is their water. And I was like, God, how how do they uh, how do they cook? How do these people cook? Because you would need water to clean the vegetables and do all that. Can uh, coconut water do all that? Can uh, the can uh, coconut water be used? Okay, maybe they shower with uh, real water, not the coconut water. But consuming, they consume coconut water. I didn't actually research on the 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 water they use to shower, but they take coconut water 100%. And uh, they don't uh, use fire as well. They don't use fire to cook. They process their food using sunlight. That is where they get their food ready for consumption. They use sunlight. They dry them, maybe they dry them, and uh, that's how they will be consumed. Because uh, they can't use fire, like they, do, they don't use these uh, modern stuff to cook, or uh, the gas and all that. So that was the most shocking thing. And uh, to add on the dreadlocks, I'm told that it's more spiritual. It's something that, uh, it's spiritual, just like, uh, the, the, if you are a Christian, the story of Samson with his hair that was uh, uh, the, the, the wife had to cut the hair. So the same way that he believed in his hair, the, the, you know, the same belief that he had on his hair, that the hair had something spiritual. It's the same thing with the rastas. You know, you can't just cut off your dreadlocks. It's spiritual. That is what they believe in. And uh, uh, about uh, the food that they eat above the ground, we have this one thing that we all know that, uh, okay, not everyone, but basically if uh, your country doesn't allow uh, some, like uh, these uh, uh, what do we call marijuana you would know that uh, it is a drug in other countries it is a drug so to rastas marijuana or uh, weed is basically something that uh, it's just a plant it's not a, it's not a drug it's just a plant that uh, it was discovered in one of the of the musicians i guess or uh, one of the people that they uh, was in what was in uh, the rastafari it was discovered in his graveyard and people learned that uh, and uh, the same guy was actually so wise and uh, when and they believed that uh, when they go ahead and use this leaf 
they will all be wise you know it gives you that wisdom that is what they believe in and for other countries like my country kenya we it is not actually allowed it's uh, it's not something that it is allowed in my country because we know that it's a it's a drug because a drug is anything that will alter your normal thinking or something like that and that is exactly what the weed does but for them this is not a drug this is basically a plant just a normal plant just something uh, like a vegetable that is what they 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 refer to this thing so uh most of these these things are actually culture shocks for me they are actually culture shocks they are new i've never experienced that as, a, as something normal it's so new but for them this is their culture their the thing that they believe in they live in it and uh on the music the reggae music they actually believe in reggae music so much because uh just like bob marley in most of his music in of, in most of his uh, songs they actually like a prophecy they 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 have a message they have a strong message that's why they believe in reggae music so what i actually learned from this it's that uh, we should all learn to respect different cultures you know we shouldn't be uh be judging people because we don't know what they they believe in what what it takes to be in that religion or spiritual thing just as a christian there's someone who doesn't believe in christianity and it's a big shock to them so for a rasta that's their life and that's how they live it guys that was it for my video today and if you have something to add on it just uh, leave a comment let's chat on the comment section and uh, see you in my next one